Dave Kranz, Dave Kranz Living, the Wild Outdoors. We're going to do a review on the Charger boats. Wait till you see what Trey McKinney has to say about these. You gotta be locked and ready to be able to replace anything, any pumps uh, on your live wells. I said, and as you can do it, you can lift this up right here. You got all right to your pumps. You can replace them in a matter of just popping it in, popping it out, man. And I'm, like I said, a tournament circuit, a local tournament, a church tournament, even anything you want to call it. I mean, everybody wants to keep their fish alive. That's the main thing. It's gonna preserve the sport. It's us taking care of our fish so the next person can catch them, man. So we're gonna move on from there. Uh, like I said, too, there's two breakers here for uh, all the lights, uh, motor, uh, trim, stuff like that. But if we go on to the live well, as you guys can see, we got deep live wells, uh, we got build, and then we got the recirc and the, alt, the aerator here, and we got sprouts. Um, the main thing I like about it is it's pretty deep um, in rough water, anything else like that. You're really saving your fish, not getting them beaten. Um, I mean, you don't have to worry about that too much in this boat, as we all know. Um, it's old champion hole. Um, this boat's awesome. Um, they've done a lot. Of it. As you guys can tell, they've done a lot to it, man. From the rubber rail up, charger, man. Uh, they've done a lot. Of you can see the gas tank, these compartments. Um, like I said, it, it just depends. Like as you're fishing, like co angler events, this is a big deal, man. Um, usually, I put two of my life jackets, my foam filled, on the bottom, and then you can cherry. Like I said, you got the same storage on this side. The man carrying extra tools. It's gonna get you through the day. Um, I put a TH Marine prop wrench, uh, my spare prop. Uh, TH Marine has a thing that goes right on that middle thing in the battery compartment, hold your spare, it's awesome. Uh, I'd recommend that to anything. But main thing with that, you have for your co-angler and for you. Uh, everything you shall need, G-Juice, everything in the boat. So, when we move on up, we got, uh, have the nice seats as well, uh, heated, as we all like it. Uh, like right here, on a cold day, is the best thing ever. So, uh, all these right here, as you guys can see, are ran to a breaker so if you have anything go wrong pop it back in it'll tell you which ones you guys need to change um, right now i'm getting ready to put this in our rmp dual mount i'm gonna love it perfect height to see over it um, not disadvantaged by any means uh, it's great i haven't had any of the switches another thing a lot of people say hand in hand um, on the power okay right here we have a power switch okay this is your key um, the power switch is there because it just depends. On me, once you get used to it, I love it, honestly, because it's easy access. You reach over. Sometimes all you do is got to click it. Everything, all the main power disengages. Click it back over. Everything is just how it was. So um, it's super easy, super quick. Uh, no, no need to go back there. You can just climb out of it afterwards. Uh, we got both of our gauges, good placement. Uh, you got your TH Marine, trim up, jack plate, trim down. Uh, super good there. And another thing I've done here is they put these on here for phone chargers, anything else like that. And actually, this year I put in a modification that the charger will let you do as well. Is a, uh, they put a Milo stick right here. A lot of times I'd love to film uh, media and show you guys a journey. And uh, so that's, that's the best play, best angle for me to get film on both back and front. So if we come from here, as of now, we all know it. Uh, we like hot drinks. Never got to worry about it, man. This thing, I've had two giant bags to ice. Keeps it forever. And the main thing with a cooler, any boat, okay, once you get it, the first bag of ice, you're like, man, that melts it so quick. But once you get that area to the surface temp to cold, once you put one bag of ice in it, it's going to last forever, man. And that's the thing, when I go in there before a tournament day, something like that, I'll put a bag in there nice before, get it nice and cold. When I wake up that morning, it's ready to go. Might be a little bit left. It's got a drain at the bottom. It's perfect, man. That's why, stay hydrated, number one thing. You got health is first, so absolutely. Uh, rod boxes, like I said, a lot of storage. You got rod link on this side. There's no 
both sides of it. There's none short. Uh, like I said, I have a 7-Eleven glass sink drawer cranking rod. And I don't want that to be able to hit on the front. So, and that's the main thing with this one. It runs all the way up, super clean. Nothing bad about it there. Um, holds plenty of rods. And if you do tubes, what you can do is a front rod sock. Uh, you put multiple rods in a tube. You'd like to be prepared for that. Um, you go around from there, go into this. This is my favorite part, okay? We got a lot of storage on top, okay? And the main thing is be creative, okay? Sometimes you can put a box storage here and you can stack, okay? All your tackle there, you got, I know I'm a plastic bag guy. <laughs> I can't get away from it, I'm sorry. Um, I go shopping, I get stuff in, and, and never leave a plastic sack sometimes. But most of the time, I'm telling you, being organized and everything else like that saves you so much time throughout the day. And that's one thing I've really learned, I'm trying to get better on. And right here, bang. As you guys can see right there, that's a lot of extra storage. We got, we, like I said, you got extra life jackets, you got rain suits. And another thing, it's perfect. If you start from here and you put these uh, little trays or boxes, anything homemade, uh, a lot of different ways you can do it. You can stack it all throughout there. You can push your plano boxes, any kind of boxes up like that. You can stack them perfectly and neat. So that's another good thing I love about it. And I mean, you got a lot of rods. You got more storage here. Got another extended rod there. Uh, perfect. I've put big rods in it. Nothing hits. So absolutely love it, man. Um, like I said, up front, we got switches, uh, trim tab. I actually had it moved to the right just in case. Uh, a lot of times, if you deploy your troll motor, sometimes it's not there. So I thought over there, I think it's a lot better. You just gotta be careful on stepping on it. Uh, I put a TH Marine rod locker on it. Uh, that seems to help. I know everybody knows uh, it's awesome trying to keep your stuff intact, safe. And I know a lot of people ask, man, you don't have handles like this, like like that. And let me tell you about it. It is great, okay? A lot of times, over the years, screws come loose after you hit waves. I mean, you gotta imagine how much, I mean, it's on the water. It's a lot of vibrant, like everything else like that, and screws will tend to back off sometimes. But sometimes they'll screw around and they'll leak. And you know, you don't, nobody wants wet baits, nobody wants rust, anything else like that. So that's another big thing for us. And if you ever think you're gonna hit a wave and this is gonna come up, you're wrong. I mean, not saying that, crazy things have happened before, but man, I love it. I've never had one come up on me. They're easy to pull up, easy to get to. Uh, like I said, I put the troll motor mount up there. It's got perfect room uh, for your troll motor of any kind. If you're running power pole, Dakota, Garmin, Ghost. Uh, all the cool works are awesome. Uh, like I said, it just depends on uh, weight, tradition, or whatever you call it, on uh, certain people, on how fast the boat runs. Um, it handles great. It's not one of them that you have to worry about once you get the top in if you're going to have to drive it or not. Um, it's great. You can put your mother in there and have her go full throttle. And, She's gonna love it, so uh, it's a Cadillac, man. So that's all I gotta say. Jeremy Kenny out, so have a good day.